Khan Yunus remains the focus right now. Intense, close combat between IDF forces and Hamas fighters. Dozens of Hamas fighters have been killed. We now get the very latest live by I-24 News correspondent Zach Anders. He's joining us live now from the southern part of Israel. Zach, it seems as though that it is, uh, they're going step by step, block by block, uh, building by building. Hi, Albert. They are I'm looking out over to my right as well. I see a, a large plume of smoke and a loud boom from an explosion that took place about a minute ago. In this would be the northern half of the Gaza Strip near the fence. Does look like operations continue all throughout the Gaza Strip. And that's what the IDF is telling us, that they continue to fight in Gaza City and Khan Yunus in particular. We have been seeing some of the footage. Interestingly enough, footage that was released by a, a soldier who's fighting in Gaza, first on Twitter, uploaded to his private uh, the Twitter account, and then the IDF then tweets the video. It's a remarkable video of a, what a, looks like an unarmed man running up behind IDF soldiers as they're on an embankment firing at a position. The, he does appear to be holding something in his arm as he charged, but uh, not armed uh, with a, uh, uh, a gun or a uh, assault rifle. It, it's uh, later you can see that it does appear to be a knife and the IDF says he also had several grenades that he was uh, charging at this line with. This is in uh, uh, Khan Yunus, the Khan Yunus area where the fighting as we've been able to put together and independently confirm with the footage that is coming out of the area it, 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 it again is speaking to the the level of the intensity of the fighting that's taking place is uh, we're, we're seeing both armed and unarmed men dressed as civilians not wearing um, you know wearing track suits and adidas and and it looks like just everyday individuals but uh, carrying weapons uh, in in the street fighting very intensely, fighting among the ruins of buildings. Uh, and then this is, uh, again, Western Khan Yunus, where the IDF tells us the uh, Hamas still has uh, sizable numbers. Now, Netanyahu today told troops that they've eliminated 18 of 24 battalions. And in the traditional uh, American military context, a battalion could be anywhere from 300 to 1,000 fighters. Um, so with, with that declaration from Netanyahu, we can't say for certain what uh, what that means as in the uh, level of forces, the number of Hamas that have been killed inside these battalions. Uh, but it, it does appear in the context that Netanyahu is sharing this information that they have eliminated the command structure of these battalions and that these cells are now operating loosely and independently. You know, Zach, one of the things you did mention about the, that uh, that officer uh, that soldier uploading things to his Twitter. They've been very, the IDF has been extremely, extremely careful to tell the folks in the IDF not to put things on their social media for specific reasons. I mean, I, I guess the soldier is lucky he didn't get reprimanded considering what it was. Well, and we, we don't know exactly what is going to happen in particular for cases like this. I will say it's not the first time that something like this has happened. Um, but because of how remarkable the footage is, we have seen, especially on Telegram, that some of the soldiers have been publishing some of, they, they have their, they are allowed in some instances to provide their own cameras. Um, the IDF rules are pretty strict in some instances, but uh, it is remarkable to see him upload this to his uh, personal personal account and then the IDF share the same video uh, later, uh, actually just about an hour ago on the official IDF channel.